guys remember when Donald Trump said this? I don't need anybody's money. It's nice. I don't need anybody's money. Yeah. I'm using my own money. I'm not using the lobbyists. I'm not using donors. I don't care. I'm really rich. I had yesterday a lobbyist call me up. It's a friend of mine. Good guy. He said, Donald, I want to put $5 million into your campaign. I said, I don't need it. I don't want it. He said, no, no, I want to put $5 million in. I said, I don't want it. I don't want their money. I turned the money down. I turned down so much money. I feel like such a stupid person. Well, it turns out that was a big fat lie. So according to Politico, Trump's campaign uh, actually courted a ton of billionaire donors such as Paul Singer, Sheldon Adelson, and none other than the infamous Koch brothers. So Politico explains Trump's courtship of Adelson a Las Vegas casino mogul and ardent Zionist involved a very clear ask for money, said a source close to Adelson, who noted the request came even as Trump was publicly declaring that he didn't need donors' money. Trump personally called Adelson and had his staff attempt to set up a meeting in Vegas. Now, Sheldon Adelson actually decided to back out and is now considering supporting uh, Marco Rubio, as we all know. But Trump didn't like that Adelson is going to be supporting Rubio over him and actually tweeted this out. Sheldon Adelson is looking to give big dollars to Rubio because he feels he can mold him into his perfect little puppet. I agree. <laughs> so... Now, Trump also tried to meet with Paul Singer in March, but Singer also declared his support for Rubio, and in the end, here's what Trump had to say about Singer as well. Paul Singer, take a look at what he represents, and he represents other things. Beside, Paul Singer represents amnesty, and he represents illegal immigration pouring into the country, and now he's with Rubio. Alright, so we're kind of seeing a pattern here, but let's continue. So when it comes to the Koch brothers, Politico explains, Trump's aides detailed his policy positions for the Kochs and their donors in a survey put together by Freedom Partners Chamber of Commerce, the group that coordinates its Koch network and hosts its twice-a-year donor gatherings. But when Trump was not among the five candidates invited to the Koch donor gathering in August, at which the survey was distributed to donors, he unleashed some serious snark at his rivals who were included, Rubio, Walker, Jeb Bush, Ted Cruz, and Carly Fiorina. I wish good luck to all of the Republican candidates that traveled to California to beg for money, etc. from the Koch brothers. Puppets? He tweeted. Now he also tweeted about the Koch brothers. Koch is looking for a new puppet after Governor Walker and Jeb Bush cratered. He now likes Rubio. Next fail. <laughs> so, the hypocrisy is evident. I mean, that's just, he's wearing it on his sleeve. So, it's not really the case that he's railing against money in politics because he's really a principled person and is taking a strong, genuine stance against it, well, what we're seeing here is Donald Trump is butthurt because all of these billionaire donors don't like him and they are backing the establishment candidates. So it's very clear that that's why he's speaking out against candidates. It's not because, you know, he's, he's willing to fight and stand up against crony capitalism and corruption. It's because... They don't want to let him in on the fun. See, he wants to be corrupt himself. He admitted it. He stated that he donated to politicians and they did everything that he wanted them to do. He donated to Hillary Clinton and she came to his wedding, etc., etc. So he's so mad that he's not part of this corrupt circle that now he's railing against it. So I absolutely love this. Look. Kudos to Donald Trump. I'm still going to give credit where credit is due because I like that he's railing against big money because it's certainly resonating with Republicans. And anything that will encourage people to start talking about getting money out of politics is a win for me. But I just think it's funny because this is incredibly hypocritical. So Donald Trump, when you say that you're not taking big money because you don't want it, we all know you're lying. Why the fuck you lying? 